you like me to make you something to eat, darling? I haven't made supper yet because we usually go out on Thursdays. No, it's fine. Oh, well, if you're too tired to eat, it's still not too late. There's plenty of meat in the freezer, and you can have it right here in your chair. Don't want it. Oh, but, darling, you must eat something. I, I can fix it for you anyway, and you can have it or not. It's up to you. For the love of God, sit down. Just go ahead and sit down. Got something to tell you. This is going to be a bit of a shock to you, I'm afraid. But I thought about it a good deal and I've decided the only thing to do is tell you right away. I want a divorce. We're clearly not happy and I know it's bad time to be telling you, but I'll give you the money and, and see that you're looked after. We don't need to make a big deal about it. Or I hope not anyways. It wouldn't be very good for my job. I told you I don't want anything. Going out anyways. I'm just cooking a turkey dinner for Mr. Turner. We need some vegetables. Oh, yes, thank you, Noah. Oh, yes, I will. You have a lovely day. What's your emergency? Quick! Go quick! Paul is dead! Who's speaking? Mrs. Turner! Mrs. Lindsay Turner! You mean Paul Turner is dead? I think so. He's on the floor and I, I think he's dead. Be right over, ma'am. Where is he? He's this way. Come with me. He's dead. Lindsay, take a deep breath and tell us what happened from the beginning. Well, it was a normal Tuesday for us, you know. Paul just came home and I made him his usual drink, whiskey on the rocks. We usually go out on Thursday nights, but today Paul seemed tired, so we decided to stay in. I had a frozen turkey in the freezer and I didn't have any vegetables for it turkey without vegetables, so that's when I decided to go to the grocery store. The grocery store? Yeah. You know, the one around the corner here on Anderson? Right, right. Shields, go take a look at that, would you? I'll get the rest of the story from Lindsay here. You got it. Noah? Noah Maxwell? Yeah, that's me. Sorry to disturb you, but I wanted to ask you a few questions. Do you know the Turners? Lindsay, are you doing okay? No. I just didn't think I would feel this way. It's not every day you see your husband being carried away. Her alibi checked out. I 
It's all clear. Just a wife eager to make her husband happy. I'm gonna go outside and take a look around. Do you have anything in the house that could have been used as a weapon? Do you want to look around and see if anything's missing? There might be some stuff like that out in the garage. Could you get me a drink? Sure. Whiskey? Hey, uh, Lindsay, you know your oven's still on? Oh my gosh, it is! Oh, don't worry about it, I'll get it for you. Thank you so much. But could you do me a small favor, the both of you? Of course, anything. Well, here you all are, and good friends of Paul's too, helping to catch the man who murdered him. You must be terribly hungry, because it's way past your dinner. And I know that Paul would never forgive me, his soul if he allowed me to have you in this house without offering you some decent hospitality. Why don't you both go ahead and eat that turkey up? It should be close to done by now. Lindsay. I don't think we should. Oh, please eat it. Personally, I couldn't touch the thing, not since it's been here when he was here. But it would be alright for you, you'd be doing me a favor, and you can continue with your work afterwards. He wants us to finish it. He said so. We'd be doing her a favor, right? Yes, please. Have as much as you like. Now, if you two don't mind, I'm just gonna go in the other room and lay down a bit. Oh. Definitely. Don't worry about it. We'll clean up. Take your time. That must have been one hell of a club they used to kill Paul with. The doc said that his skull was completely shattered, like they used a sledgehammer or something. That ought to be easy to find. Whoever did it, they're not gonna be carrying around something like that longer than they need to be. Personally, I think it's right here on the premises. Probably right under our noses. It's the same old story. You get the weapon, and you've got the man. 